Welcome to the Bamboo Project. If you don't already know, my name is Donovan Gray. I know a lot of people right now want to start Turo, and the most important thing when starting Turo is knowing what car to put on the app. A few weeks ago, we put up a video about how we chose our first car in our market, and in that video, I said, if you want me to do a video about your city, just comment or DM me your city, and I'll make a video for you. Shout out to all our subscribers in Chicago. This video is for David Rollins and Danny. All right, so step number one is to find out how much money you want to make per year on your car or with your cars. So because I'm not from Chicago, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to see what is the median income of Chicago. So the median income of Chicago is $31,163 for one person. So that is what we're going to use for this video, $31,613. So what you're going to see right here, this $2,600 number, that is how much I would have to make each month to have my desired amount for the entire year. That's step number one. Step number two is to go to the Turo website. All right, so now what you wanna do is obviously you wanna put in what city you're looking at, which will be where you're at probably, Chicago, Illinois. After you put the city in, then you want to put the date further out into the future. The reason why is because you're more likely to see a lot more cars come up that we can get better information or better data on what you're looking at. Because if you book it closer to now, you're gonna see more people booking cars. So things like Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, Halloween, holidays, you don't wanna try and search around those times because people will book a car during those times. Um, so I have April 4th to April 8th. Another thing to remember when doing that is if you don't wanna put one day, the reason you don't wanna put one day is because certain people will have restrictions on their car that you cannot book their car for only one day. So those cars will not come up. Step three is to decide where you wanna list your car. All right, so I also wanna see what the lines are as far as geographically, like where does Chicago start and end? So I'm gonna to go to Google to look that up. Let's say that this highway is 43. We're not gonna pass that, even though some of it is inwards here, um, but that's kind of what we're looking at. As you can see already, most of the cars are centralized in this area right here. I don't know what this is over here, um, but that's where most of the cars are. I don't see an airport. Okay, the airport's over here. So I'm surprised that there aren't more cars near the airport. Let me look over here, come to the airport. Yeah, there are some cars near the airport. I feel like there should be a lot more because people are gonna be flying in. Lord have mercy, a lot of more a lot more cars came up, Jesus. But again, we're only looking at Chicago, which is this area. You wanna look at where are people coming into the city? You may, people have tourists who are coming in. You wanna put your car near the airport, near a popular train station. Um, just kind of where it's the easiest for somebody to get to the car. So maybe a popular bus depot. That's where I would put the car for us. But you also don't want to put it where it's too oversaturated if you're only going to have one car. The reason is because a lot of people who have been doing Turo for a long time, their listings will overshadow yours. So because you're brand new, you're looking for, you know, somebody scrolling down. They won't see your car because you only have, you know, one review, if any. And Turo is not going to promote that listing um not really so you kind of want to be a little bit out the way in case somebody's looking over there oh, okay i want to get this car it looks nice the pictures are nice because pictures are important people be acting like pictures like this car right here this toyota camry it's a really average picture like you gotta do more let me just look at a nice picture none of these are even nice at all honestly so to be completely honest yeah obviously i could tell maybe this one is good tesla model s people do not care about the pictures it seems like which is silly because people are going to see that it's like airbnb people are going to see it so now that you have an idea of where you want to list your car at right i don't know what's down here either this is Brit, something ville brew something the next step is to write down how many cars there are of each brand so to do that you go to more filters you would go down to where it says vehicle makes and then you would start to write them down right so here you have am general right there's zero then you have acura there are four Acuras, and then you have, that's interesting with a little bow on it. I have finished writing down the amount of cars in each brand, and if you have been here before, you, like, you will know that I like to play a little game. So, I'll give you 15 seconds to try and guess which brand you think comes up in the top three spots. One, two, and three. You have 15 seconds. Go. All right, so coming in at number three with 50 cars, we have the BMW, 
All right, coming in at number two with 53 cars, we have the Mercedes Benz. And then coming in at number one with 65 cars, we have the Toyota. Okay, um, I'm kind of surprised. I'm not surprised. Let me see how can I put this. I feel like in the previous videos I've done, I have not really seen the BMW and the Mercedes be in the top two, both of them like that. And I always thought when I first started, I would see that more often because those are very popular car names by brand. Now, step number five is to divide how much you want to make by 15. That is going to be your daily rate, okay? And then you'll divide that number by 75%. So remember, earlier you want to make $31,613 a year, $2,600 a month. You have to take home $175, okay? The reason why that is, is you took that number that you have to make every single month and you divided it by 15. Why 15? Because that is the average amount of days that I think you should look for your car to be booked per month, at least 15 days, give or take, you know, a day or two or so. Now, once you divide it by 15, you get $175.63. Now, after you have that number, you have to divide it by 75%. Here's why. There are multiple plans on Turo. They have a, as you can see here, a 60% plan, a 75% plan, an 80% plan, 85% and 90%. What those plans mean are, that is how much you will get to keep of the amount that you charge for your car. So if you're on a 90% plan and you charge $100 for your car, you get to keep $90. And other 10% or $10 goes to Turo. So here's the thing about each insurance plan. Depending on which plan you are on, you will have to pay more for your deductible. For those who do not know what a deductible is, that is how much you have to pay if something happens to your car. So on a 90% plan, your deductible is $2,500. So that means that Turo will not pay for any damages until it exceeds $2,500. The reason why is because they say, hey, you are making 90% on every time you get a booking, you should have enough money to pay for your damages. Now on a 60% plan, I believe there is no deductible. On the 75% plan, I believe it's 250. On the 80% plan, I believe it's 750. That's your deductible. Um, so depending on your risk tolerance or what kind of car you have and things like that, you can change your insurance plan. But for the sake of the video, an average amount is 75%. I think that's a pretty safe number. And that is why you divide it by 75%. If you are starting a Turo business, you will probably have more than one car, right? So if you only wanted one car to be able to make this number per year, you'd have to charge $234 a day for your car with one car, right? Now, if you have two cars, $117 for each car. If you have three cars, you would charge $78 for each car. And if you have four cars, you would charge $59 for each car, right? And that would bring you to your median income for the year. So before you get to step number six, what you want to do is you go to the list that you wrote down with all the numbers of how many cars there are of each brand, right? And for me, I do not like to choose a car that falls in the top three. Why? Because I see it as an oversaturated brand. I'm like, you know what? Let me get a car that's somewhere in the middle, okay? I also don't want a car that's all the way at the bottom, the ones, the zeros, the two, the threes, things like that, right? So in this case, the highest on here is 65. The lowest is obviously gonna be zero. So I want something somewhat in the middle. Um, I think I'll do, from what I'm seeing here, 15, I'll do 15 to 30 is what I'm gonna do here. All right, so that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five cars, okay? 15 to 30 It's in the middle. So it's somewhere in the middle between the highest and the lowest. So we have the Audi, the Ford, the Hyundai, the Kia, the Nissan, and the Volkswagen. And I like this because these cars are not super expensive, but there are a good amount of them relative to the market. So they're looking at from where we're at, this is close to about 4% of all of the cars in this area. Now that we have done that, you go back to the tour website. This is step number six. All right. So you look at, you have the price at what you have to make per day for your car. I believe our number was 59 because we have four cars. Let's go with 60. You do not want to. All right. So you have the Audi. Now, actually, you can leave this on zero for this example um, or 10. We're looking through the Audis. All right. So we want to see which ones are getting booked the most and which one comes up the most. So already off top, I see that there's a Q7 
Both of them have a good amount of trips. They both charge about $100 to $110 a day. And that's that's good. All right. That's above our number. See another Q7, Q5, another Q7. Q7s are doing very well. Another Q7, another Q7, a Q3, a Q8, Q8. Okay. So I would get a Q7 or higher. That's what I would get. Um, let's see what the year has to be. The year has to be at least 2017. So that's what we're doing. Q7 or higher. So based off what I see here, I think we're looking at about a hundred dollars a day for this car um yeah about 100 to 110 so now that we see that right you want to research the listings a little bit you want to see where you can fit in in the market as you can see here this is not really a good picture so just like that you're comparing your picture to my picture and it's like wow you know this is not that good of a picture um this one is a nice shot i like that one that's okay but the outside the exterior is not really good pictures i put our listing below for how we put or took our pictures um this person has 131 trips shout out to, shout out to aziz now his last review november 21st that's pretty good november 19th november 15th okay that's wow that's good that's i like to see that several bookings fairly recently okay this, and it's a 2017 car so another thing you want to check too when you're looking through the listings you can go and check uh closer to now so you can see if the amount you see that they're charging and four months from now it's actually what they really be charging because they might change it if you're ordering a car super early so let's look right now we have 111 yep about the same price it's actually cheaper the day after the day before christmas okay so he seems pretty pretty accurate with that 111 that's what he charges that's good and yeah when did he get this car let's see when was his first review so his first review for this was in july 20 was in july of this year on the 28th that's his first review so from then until now december this car has 34 trips that's not bad you got july august september october november december five months you got 34 trips you're looking at what five six seven trips a month about something like that um seven times five is what uh yeah it's about it's about seven trips uh he's doing a month on average that's a good so like i said i'm going to q7 uh, I want to look at somebody else's real quick to see what they're doing with their Q7. Their last review was November 15th. How many cars did this person have? They joined in March. They have 107 trips. They have four cars. One, two, three, four cars. Okay. All right. They, I wonder if their first car was the Chevrolet Cruze. I wonder if that's how they started off their tour journey. Um, But yeah. So, yep. Q7 is my first pick. Now that we have that one done, we're going to go on to the next one. That is the Ford. The next car is the Ford. There are 20 of these. You can see where they're at they kind of scattered around which is kind of good for you all right so you see here uh, the cars are pretty much centralized here when you look in the beginning of the video um i think this is like where the city is at in chicago like where the uh the 42nd street or times square whatever is this area the city city um but you can see cars in the outskirts so let's see which one of these would i get um i personally looks like i would probably get none of them they don't have a lot of trips but honestly, okay, this is good. I like something that I'm seeing here. There's two of those. Okay, there's another one of those. Okay. So I think a good car would be the Ford Fusion. It's going to be cheap to buy. And I think it's also going to be a good car in terms of people are not going to be speeding in it. It's going to be a fairly safe car. And the maintenance probably be a lot lower. Ford Fusion... I think you got 2020, 2017, Ford Focus, no, Fusion 2020. So you probably gonna have to get a new one. This is a Ford Fusion from 2014, sheesh, Ford Escape. So I would go with a Ford Fusion 20, 2019, I'll go with 2020. That's what I would do. 2020, maybe I'll do 2019 just to see what comes up. All right. And they are charging, that was $38 um for ford fusion we're looking at 75 so ford edge we're looking at 79 ford fusion ford fusion uh yeah, they're kind of low in terms of how much they charge for so but i don't know what it is to have one but let's just say for the ford fusion 2019 
maybe you could get like fifty dollars a day. Is that is that I think that's too low for us, right? I think that's not enough. So that's not that's not gonna work. Um so what else we have on here? The Ford Explorer. See, so now that we see that, we're gonna go to changes to 50 or 60, right? Remember, go to the price, change it, and let's see. We have 12 cars that charge what we need them to charge. F-150, 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 Ford Fusion, Ford Edge. How many F-150s are there? There are three F-150s. So I would go, I would look at an F-150. That's what I would look at, a Ford F-150. And then, this one has 81 trips. That's great. It's five stars. So they have 253 trips. Shout out to Edwin. Um, 450 horsepower. Okay. No automatic car washes. That's funny. I've never seen that. Last review was November 14th. That's good. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Let's check to see around today's date, December 4th. So he's charging 149 still around the same. Yep. That's his price. So we're looking at about 140 for this one. Let's go back to look at the other prices. That one is 99. That's a little bit older, so that's probably why it's lower. 2018 charging 77. So I think you could get away with he's charging 149. Has that many trips? I think you can get away. Where's he, where he listening to that? See, he's all the way out here. See, he's we're all the way out here now. I wonder how. See, this is what I'm saying. You don't always want to be where all the other cars are at. Something's over here for him to be able to charge 146 a day and be able to um, get this many reviews. So I'm guessing that this is near the airport, I think. And that's probably why he can do that. Because you look at another F-150, right? Where's the other one at? A similar, honestly, it's close to that one. Let me see. When did they put? Maybe they just put it recently. They have two trips. He joined March 18th. His first review was November 3rd of this year. So it's like he just got this car. So you can't really even use him as an uh, example because also you think about the fact that people are not going to want to look at his car because they only have uh, two trips. So he's not going to come up that high. All right, so looking at the other F-150, this one has 72 trips. Where is he located at? Okay, again, similar to the other person. This one is 72 trips. And this person is, are they in the same place? Are they the same car? No, they're not. Let's see, are they the same host? Hmm. This is Edwin with 253. Okay, Edwin. And then he has another one. He has Edwin. So I don't know what Edwin's doing, but he's able to get this car rented out fairly well in this area. What's the description say? So yeah, I don't know. He's able to get that the cars in that area. But I think that you can safely charge... He has one for 149, one for 99. I think you can safely charge 120 for this car if you get a newer one. So we're gonna do a Ford F-150. Next on the list is the Hyundai. So we have four Hyundais that are charging $60 or more. That's the, Tus the Tuscan, the Tuscan, okay? The Genesis, the Santa Fe, and the Palisade. So let's move this all the way down to zero. And you see what happens? All these other cars come up. So you know what that tells me? Not going with the Hyundai. So that's on to the next one. It's the Kia. This is why you have to set that, put that uh, price back down to, to 10 or zero. So you can see like, oh yeah, this is, there aren't a lot of cars that are making money on this brand. Um, okay, so let's go to the Kia. All right, so put this to 10, we have 23 results. Okay, we have the Kia Optima, the Spectra. Let's see what we got. Okay, Optima seems to be doing well. That's good. Okay, I see. I see where the money is at. It's in the Optima. You gotta get to Optima. So now that we see the Optima's getting bookings, they're not charging a lot here, but they're getting booked. Okay, $50 is kind of low. So we're gonna change that in one second. See the Optima, 65. Okay. Oh, I like the K5. That looks nice. Okay, so from looking at this, I see the key Optima is getting booked the most on here. Let's see the Sorrento. How many Sorrentos are there? There aren't a lot of Sorrentos, but the Optima and the, um, the Spectra is $29. That's probably why it's booked so much. All right, so now let's change that price to 60 and see how many of these cars still come up. We just lost 12 cars off that, all right? How many of these are Kia Optimas? One. One are Kia Optima. Only one of these are Kia Optima, just one. 
so that means that yeah so the optimus out that's not gonna work from here this list looks like the kia k5 is doing well so let's see how often that's booked his most recent trip was october 12th which he canceled so he canceled two trips that's not the best person to look at here we go this is guy he's joining in march sports package october 12th was his last review but he's had seven trips or seven ratings and he's had eight trips okay interesting that's not bad picture yeah the picture i don't care about y'all pictures um let's see another k5 2022 their last review was november 25th november 21st i like this okay so if i had to pick one i'm going with the k5 the kia k5 and it seems like you can charge about eighty dollars. Let me let me say that seventy. What's another one? What is the Telluride? That's it. where she lists her car. At? This is crazy. Yeah, up here a little bit of oh, this is right in the middle of Chicago, and she has thirty six trips in the city of Chicago. I mean, okay. Um, so I guess after the K five, you got seventy dollars. Seven eight person charging eighty five dollars. I think comfortably, yeah, you are gonna have to, yeah, you getting seventy dollars for you, for this car. For the Kia K5. So let me put that. I don't know what the monthly amount for that is. Kia K5. You're looking at a. You gotta got get a 2020 or 20 or more. Kia K5. Next is the Nissan. All right. So there's only four of them that are charging more than sixty dollars. So that's not a really a good sign. Um, let's put this back down to ten dollars and sixteen cars came up. So that lets me know. Nissan is not where it's at for us today. Next on the list is the Volkswagen. This is the last car on the list. Okay, there are eight Volkswagens. Okay, this is an Atlas, 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 Passat, 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 and the Tijuana. Okay, so got the Volkswagen Tijuana. We got one, two of those. Okay, but the Atlas is where the money is at. So get you an Atlas. That's what I would get. A Volkswagen Atlas. They're getting booked. Eh, not really. They're not really getting booked that much, honestly. Um, one, two, three. So let's see. I'm gonna lower this this number down again. Let's see this price. Move this down here. 27 came up. Okay, so that lets me know a lot of these people are not charging $60. Oh, let's see. You got eight trips joined January of this year. They have since November 7th to now they got how many? Eight trips. That's not bad. So like I said, I definitely would probably get I will definitely probably get this one for sure. The uh, the Atlas. If I was gonna go with the Volkswagen, the Jetta. Nope. The Jetta's the Jetta's okay. The Jetta seems like it's okay. Um, it's cheaper. So you know, there's that. This is a good amount of them. Look at this price. This is who you're competing with. Forty nine dollars a day. You don't want to compete with them. This person's wild. Fifty seven dollars. Old car. When did he put this? Did he any reviews yet? It's a nice picture. Twenty five trips. No real. This is a terrible picture to have as your first picture, bro. This is awful. This is awful. You have any other pictures? This is oh, did you what? Come on, fam. Why would you even put this on the app? Oh, this is a bit. Why? Why would you do this? This is these are terrible. This is this is this is not good. I can't even see the car. When did, you, when did you list this? Was it recently? Yeah. Maybe you listed this recently and that's why. Okay. Maybe that's why. Because it's just, you just put it up. You got You didn't have time to take the pictures yet. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going with the Atlas and I feel like the price you could probably comfortably charge for the Atlas based off what I'm seeing here is, I'm going to say $90 a day, $90 to $100 a day for the Atlas. <laughs> Now let's check again. Are they charging that like today? If I want to get the car this week. Yep, she's 84, still the same. All right, so I got that $90 I think for 2019 up. So now the last step that you wanna do is you will go to Carvana. That's what I like to use because they let you know what the finance will be on the car. So we're gonna go with the Audi Q7 first. Audi Q7. All right, and we said that we're gonna need a 
2017 plus. So let's go up here to where it says year and mileage, put it to 2017, boom. All right, now that we've done that, what we see, okay, all right, 638 down, that's not bad. A lot of miles on the car though. Um, a lot down, it's a lot down. What's the cheapest? Yeah, lowest price, it's the lowest one right here. So the lowest on here is six thirty-seven thousand dollars cash down. That's what I would probably go with just because it's not a lot down. I don't really care about the mileage. Just get your car taken care of um, if anything comes up. And then uh, let's go and look at the little spreadsheet that we have here. So for this car, we're looking at possibly charging. Oh, let's go back and check for the Q7. Let's just go up here. Let's go through here. So this one is 111. I think it was 110 you could charge for this one. This one is 100. That one's one, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think you could I think you could get 110 for this. Yeah, I think you could get 110 for that 2017 one. So we're gonna do $110 a day. So we put that in here. The car payment was 683 here. So we put that over here. 683 is a car payment. Alright, so you are making about five hundred dollars a month off of this car that means your insurance is paid and the car note is paid and on top of that you're profiting five hundred dollars now that's if you're on the 75 percent plan and the car is booked out 15 days out the month that's what this graph right here is now depending on what plan you're on it may change if you're on the 90 percent plan you are making 702 dollars a month not taking into account gas or little things that come up now if you have the car booked out 21 days a month this is what you're going to be making right here almost a thousand dollars a month right and profit in your pocket that's less cash now we have 30 days a month okay you're making sixteen hundred dollars on a 75 percent plan if you bump it up to 90 percent plan you're making two thousand one hundred and eighty seven dollars if your car is booked out 90 percent of the time okay and remember for us to be able to make the median income in chicago all we have to do is make twenty six hundred dollars so listen listen you get let's say you probably would need maybe three of these cars booked out nine eighteen uh booked out 15 days a month okay at 75 percent plan booked out 21 days a month excuse me um like i said it all depends on what plan you're on now next on the list is the ford f-150 all right so we got okay this is not this is good this is really good these are really good prices for this this is amazing like these are really good prices um let me see what the best what the newest one is all right boom like i said you got this is blue you can get that um this one's a 2019 so i will probably get that one so we're looking at 523 dollars a month right and you're paying 500 cash down that's great so we're looking at 523 a month all right 523 is what your car payment is insurance is 100 it hit the reason why insurance is 100 dollars, depending on which insurance you have uh some of them have something called fleet insurance and it will be lower the reason why it'll be lower than average insurance is because they expect their car to only be insured when it's sitting outside in the parking lot until somebody comes to get it and then they expect the company like turo or hire car or get around to be the person that insures the car that's why they and then they will tell you that the car is not insured when somebody else is driving it but you shouldn't have to worry about that because Turo does have their own form. They have like a connection with an insurance company, Liberty Mutual. Oh, 120. 120 for this car. Okay, so you're looking at 120. Look at that. This is the car I would buy. Look at these numbers. You're looking at $727 if your car is booked out 15 days out the month and you're on the 75% plan. Car note paid, insurance paid, and you're making about $730 a month. Now, let's say, you know, if you're doing 21 days a month, here's your numbers. And if you're doing 30 days a month, here's your numbers, depending on what plan you're on. So me personally, I like what I'm seeing here with the F-150. That's what I would go with. Uh, issue, here's my issue with the F-150 right now. There's one person with those cars, right? He's the one that's charging those large amounts. So it's kind of hard to gauge the market demand for those cars because only one person that has them. And he could be changing the price, you know, whatever. I don't know how he's able to get that for that car. But I will put my car near his. And then I would, you know, go to his listing, 
take the things from his listing, put it in my listing, and then I would kill him with the pictures. I would make sure my pictures are on point, amazing. I would see, okay, he's, his pet fee is $30. Mine's going to be $27. I would do that until I have enough reviews and enough um credibility to then make my car either more expensive or whatever the case might be but obviously you have to see what he's doing how he's able to get those prices for that car that's 120 for the uh, ford f-150 now the kia k5 is the next car all right so the kia k5 is about 535 oh yeah 2021 so honestly i think you could do i think you could do like 80 dollars a day for this car right 80 85 you're doing 85 dollars a month boom boom and then the car note is 535. So you're making about $300 a month on this car with the Kia K5. It's like, eh, it's okay. The 21 days looking though, that one looks nice. And it all depends again, what insurance plan you want. So it's an okay car. I think this would be a good starter car. Um, just because if you're new, it's not expensive. I don't think that you have to worry about somebody like drag racing in this or do nothing crazy in the Kia K5. Like, I would hope not, I don't, like it's not. It's not the car you would think about that's going to be speeding around. So I don't really like to look at the cars that are going to be speeding and that are really high end because you attract a certain kind of person who wants to drive in it fast and do things that are probably going to be a little bit more um, risky. So things like the Charger, things like the Camaro, things like a BMW or Mercedes Benz, like they want to speed in those. That's what you want to do. They want to drive fast in those cars. Um, and when somebody drives fast, you're more inclined to have an accident. And now you have a 90% plan, so your deductible is 2500 So, is that really what you want? Is that really what you want? Think about it. Now, the last car on this list is the Volkswagen Atlas. And they're doing about 90 plus for the Volkswagen Atlas. Um, 2019. Let's see what we got here. It's not bad. It's not bad. This is not bad. 2019. 559. Okay. That's what I would do. So 559. Boom. And this one is doing about $90 a day. So about $90 to $100 a day. Let's double check it. Let's see. Atlas. 80, 90, yeah. Yeah, so you're doing, let's just let's just say you're doing $90 a day. And honestly, I mean, they're getting booked. There's three of them all in a similar area. Who? why is this person charging so much? And they're all-star hosts. How do they think they're going to get away with this? This is highway robbery, bro. And you cancel the trip. And you're charging them a lot of money. You're not going, nobody's going to book that car. Okay, um, and these pictures. This one's a good picture right here. But I feel like overall, Chicago's pictures is not hitting for me. Like, I didn't feel like I sell, no honestly, I didn't really see any power host that much. I, I remember in Vegas, everybody was a power host, which a power host is not the same as all-star host. A power host is somebody that has a thousand trips and they don't show that on the website, but that's what it actually is. Um, that's more for people who are hosts. You get to get certain amenities and things like that. Um, so, you know, there's that. But I didn't see a lot of those in Chicago. And it's probably because the pictures are nobody, nobody cares about the pictures. And a lot of things I saw in Chicago, not Chicago, in Las Vegas and in New Jersey, some people have 20, 30, 40. The most I've ever seen somebody has is 88 cars. Okay. So people, I've seen people who have like 50, 60, whatever, but 88 is the most I've ever seen. That's in uh, Stephen in New Jersey. So now we're going to run the numbers on this Volkswagen Atlas. Uh, so looking at here, we go $354 a day. Like I said, this one is like okay. Um, nothing really stood out so far to me that much. Like I said, I think the most money is going to be made in the Audi Q7 and the Ford F150. But at the end of the day, remember, all you have to do is make this much money to to not have to work that's it you're not really looking to try and you know charge the most you just want to make sure the numbers make sense for you so here's you look at the 15 days you got 21 days here and then you have 30 days now before i wrap this video up there's one thing i said i wanted to show you well two things here's what i said the line is crossed out that's what they would be charging you uh if there was no discounts and this is what you get charged with the discounts the one that's in black the last thing i want to show you guys is this so you put this back to select you change this also back to select so everything is back to blank or zero and now you would go to vehicle types right so you see where it says cars you click on that you say okay there's 200 plus cars so hmm people really want to you know a lot of cars out there you got uh suvs right 200 plus minivans 11 minivans okay trucks 12 trucks Remember that F-150 guy, 
And then for the last one, which was, what was it? It was vehicle makes. No, it was vehicle types. Is the vans. So just by looking at this, right? There's five vans. You can go to look at this to see, okay, now that I know which cars have a gap to be filled, from what I just saw here, it would be the van and I believe the trucks, it looked like, maybe even the minivans, right? So you got 28 in total. So you can look through this list and go, okay, I wouldn't get a minivan because they're not really charging that much here, so I wouldn't get that. Um, I mean, they're still over the $50 number that we need or $60 number. But uh, but yeah, this is what you look at. So this, look at this, Ford Transit 350 charging 130 a day and they have 38 trips, okay? So that's, that's good. Yeah, I'm struggling to get through. Okay, so look at another one. Ford Transit Wagon, 150 a day. This is over here, something park. I don't know what this area is. Y'all can see it on the map where it lights up with a number. Look at it right up here. So there's that, right? So people like trucks out here. It seems like, and you can get a good amount of money for the trucks. So now there is one more thing. There actually is one more thing. I don't think I talked about it much in the beginning, but there are there is another way to look at which cars are the best ones to get so you can look at two different ways to look at this chart right that you made we're gonna look at a car like which one has the most on here the toyota is the most right so let's look at that actually no we're gonna look at one of the top three look with the bmw okay all right we have 50 bmws right so now that we have that let's go to price and you can put 60 dollars a day for your bmw right so now you see how many BMWs there are that are making money, right? So let's say you go, okay, I really want to buy a BMW to put on Turo. Which one should I get? Okay, so now you go through here. You go, okay, I want a BMW that's going to charge at least, let's say, $90 a day, right? I want a car that's going to charge $90 a day, okay? Then you go to more filters. Which is the best one to get? This way you go back down here, okay? You go to vehicle types. Go to cars, okay? There's nine cars. which is interesting to me. There are seven SUVs, no minivans, no trucks, and no vans. So they're all cars SUVs. So now you have nine cars and you have 16 SUVs. But actually, let's put this price back down to zero to see what's more accurate. If you really want to get a BMW, you can go through here and look to see which one comes up the most. I don't like these cars because of the competition. I don't have to compete with all these cars. I want to find a gap and fill a gap. The last is the final 100% last thing is i think i probably showed it earlier i don't remember but i'm gonna show it again you can go to a car that does not have a lot of cars it's the opposite of the oversaturated is the undersaturated method right so let's look at somebody that has the jaguar has eight let's go with the i'm gonna go with the the mazda let's go with the mazda right it's only 12 mazdas not a lot of them this is the undersaturated method okay look so now you go okay there's only 12 of these Okay, now honestly, none of these are really charging that much, so you wouldn't get any of these. But you could have been able to find a gap here and be like, oh wow, this person is listing there are three Mazda CX-5s and they're all booked out a lot and they're charging a good amount of money. Um, so I'm gonna do one more just to see if another car comes up that's good that has that's undersaturated. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the, the Jaguar. Let's see what the Jaguar looks like, even though that car is expensive. Yep, even with the Jaguar, they are not charging a lot for this one, so I wouldn't get this either. Um, this one is pretty expensive, so that's good. And it's four. See, look at this. Jaguar F Pace is getting has 40 trip and charges $157 a day. So if I was really fiending, I could go here, undersaturated market, get one of these, and let's see when his last trip was. Uh November 1st. Kind of long ago. Maybe somebody's booked right now. Who knows? But you know, there you go. So with that being said, bamboo project out.